Thank you for watching this DPL tutorial video series. In this series of six videos, I will show you the steps to creating a probabilistic Excel spreadsheet link decision model in DPL Professional. My current model includes an upfront decision on whether or not to proceed with development. It does not consider the possibility of funding the project initially, but exercising the option to cancel it later on. The value of flexibility, sometimes called option value, can be calculated directly and transparently in DPL. I decide it would be appropriate to add an explicit launch decision to the model after I learn about the outcome of the market test uncertainty. There may be some scenarios in which it would be better to stop the project and cut our losses rather than launch the product. In addition to adding the new decision to the model, I'll also need to generate some timing arcs so that the order of events in the default decision tree are correct. So I'll first add a new decision to the influence diagram and we'll name it launch. I'll leave the default alternatives and we'll enter a one and zero for the yes and no alternatives respectively on the data tab. My spreadsheet is already set up to analyze this launch decision. So on the links tab, I'll link it to the range named launch. If I take a look at the decision tree, I find that DPL has automatically placed launch just after the develop decision in my default tree. This is not quite what I want. A downstream decision by definition is one that is made after some uncertainty has been resolved. In this case, I will learn about product performance via the market test and then we'll decide whether or not to launch the product. Next, I'll add a timing arc to the influence diagram that goes from market test to launch. I'll add another that goes from the launch decision to MPV. Now, if I check the tree, I find that the market test node comes before the launch decision. I'm going to run a decision analysis in order to view the policy tree and see what the optimal decision policy is both upfront and downstream. DPL will warn me that any unsafe outputs in the workspace will be overwritten, which is okay. Before we included the downstream decision, the expected value of the model was 5.6. Now, the expected value has gone up slightly to 6.5. The optimal policy for the upfront decision is to still develop. However, you can see that the optimal launch policy changes depending on the outcome of the market test. If we end up with a poor market test result, then the optimal alternative is to not launch the product. In other words, we should cut our losses at that point as the expected MPV is negative 15.8 million if we don't launch versus negative 18.8 if we do. If we have a decent or outstanding market test result, then the optimal thing to do is to launch the product. The flexibility provided by the exit option adds value to the project and also reduces downside risk. This is the conclusion of the series of DPL9 videos. You can click the information link indicated by the eye in the top right corner of this video pane to request a free 21-day trial license of DPL9 Professional. A link to the Broadsword Pro Excel file is available on the trial download page so you can work through the tutorials as you watch. If you have an interest in the DPL software or decision and risk analytics more generally, I would encourage you to subscribe to Syncopation Software's YouTube channel, and also visit our Imperfect Information blog at the web address shown.